is interesting because she is um you know she's still described as a, a woman history forgot but actually people have kind of been talking about mary annie quite a lot for the past decade mm. i'd say and um, and she's a lot better known than she used to be she's in a lot a of children's books now. exactly with that film ammonite um but she also was not isolated although the way that you would think it because mm. nobody ever talks about anyone she knew but she did have women she worked with in Lyme Regis where she lived in Dorset um, in uh, the early 19th century she had a neighbour Elizabeth Philpot um, who was better off than her and didn't have to sell her fossils so she had her own little museum but they used to go out collecting every day um, virtually every day so she had her but Mary Anning was also connected to not only the learned men interested in fossils and paleontology who would come to her and buy the stuff that she had collected, um, but she also knew their wives, many of whom were independently interested in this, and one of whom, um, the, the story of the film Ammonite, which just came out this year, is based on, although it, it plays with the truth a little bit, it is true that Charlotte Murchison um, what came to Lyme Regis and was trained in fossiling um, huh. by Mary Anning. So that is true. Wow. Um, so, yeah, even yeah. for Mary Anning, she wasn't isolated. Um, and you can trace these mini networks out from different women all the way through to the present day and there's like you know you can see generational connections between who who trained who and then and then where they went um, and that includes people that worked on neanderthals as well um dorothy garrett is a great example um she was the first oxbridge uh, professor first woman oxbridge professor to hold a chair in britain um, mm -hmm. she was awarded that in 1939 um, by which time she had already excavated two neanderthals one of whom was that child's fossil I mentioned from Gibraltar, yeah. the Devil's Tower boy, um, and another one she dug up in 1932, or rather her team did, um, from Mount Carmel uh, in what was Palestine then. Um, so, yeah, all these different connections in the kind of work yeah. that I'm interested in. Fascinating. <laughs> 